general guidelines for layout of field experiments. 1. The whole field should be divided by a central path running parallel to the length of the field to have an easy approach to each plot. The width of the path should be 1.5 meter. 2. There should be two sub-water channels having a width of 1 meter and should run along the length of the field. 3. The replication bund should be from 0.6 to 0.75 meter depending upon soil type. For clay soil 0.6 meter and for sandy soil 0.75 meter. 4. Non-experimental area should be left along the water channels and both sides of the central path. 5. In case of irrigation and fertilizer experiments, the plot buns should be sufficiently strong to check the overflow of water or effect of fertilizer from one plot to other. The width of the plot bund varies from 0.45 to 0.6 meter depending upon the soil conditions and type of treatments. 6. No plot boundaries are required in case of non-irrigational or non-fertilizer experiments. In such cases intervening space should be equal to one row width of that crop are left to demarcate between the adjoining plots. We can also sow one line of small seeded crop to separate one plot from the other. 7. The crop should be sown on gross plot and all the inputs should be applied on the basis of gross plot. The net plot should be harvested before the harvest of non-experimental area or spaces. 8. There should be no demarcation of buns or alley in between the experimental and non-experimental area of the plot. 9. The blocks or replications within an experiment should be as dissimilar as possible and the plots within the blocks should be as similar as possible. 10. In fertilizer, fungicidal, herbicidal experiment 1 control, 0, should be included in the level of a factor. Similarly a standard variety should be added while testing new varieties. 11. Board should be fixed in the field showing the following information. a. Name of the experiment. b. Design of experiment. c. Replication numbers. d. Factors or treatments under study. e. Date of sowing etc.